So recently, some dude tried to rob Bun B's house. And Bun B said, here's a cat. There's your ass. Now time for the introductions. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Bun B is getting a lot of press for shooting a guy that was trying to rob his home. It was a, it was a push in, break in. It wasn't really a, a break in. It was a push in. Okay, so basically, the difference is a break in is if they actually have to break in, like if they break a window pick a lock that's a break in a push in is when somebody knocks at your door you open the door and then they push in that's the difference all right so basically what happened was um queenie that is bun b's wife was expecting a a amazon package or I would assume, like, you don't never know. Okay, so basically, I get, personally, me, talking about me for a second, I get quite a few Amazon packages or just packages in general a ye a, a month. No, 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 a month. I probably get three, four packages at a minimum, right? So sometimes you're expecting a delivery. So by her saying that she expects a delivery, that is 100% on board. I would expect you know, especially a female to be expecting a delivery because they do a lot more online shopping than men, actually, I, I think. I mean, I wouldn't know. This is just, you know, assumptions at this point. But anyway, somebody look up that dim, that, that uh, those statistics and leave it in the comment section. That would be dope. Anyway, the guy comes to the door. He knocks on the door. Uh, the wife, Queenie, she, he pushes in after her. And as, as much of... As much of a hero as Bun B is, you know, shooting a dude, running a dude off, saving his family, his wife, himself, you know, uh, he was there to rob stuff. So the fact that she was able to speak to him and get him to go to the garage rather than get herself shot or, you know, di and she directed him from going upstairs to where Bun B was before he was ready or prepared or, you know... This could have went left very easily. That's my point. This could have went left very easily. As much of a hero as Bun B is, because he is, Queenie is a hero three times. Three times over. She, If she was home alone, the only thing that she would have just lost was a car. She would have been able to keep her life and everything else. And the only thing that she would have been, that they would have lost was a car. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. That's just, that's, we got to clap it up for her. All right. That's just, shout out to, shout out to Queenie. Anyway, um, so basically what happens is the dude pushes in. She convinces him to take the car in the garage. He, she directs him to the garage. He goes to the garage. This gives Bun B enough time to, because he's upstairs currently, this gives him enough time to get to his weapon a lot of people keep their weapons in locked boxes so in, in like little safes so who's to say that if he would have ran upstairs bun b would have had the opportunity to get to it he might not have had the opportunity to get to it if it was in some kind of safe or something you know for uh safety reasons was that was that uh too much being in a safe for safety reasons that's uh, uh okay anyway so um the dude goes to the garage. Bun B then comes downstairs. He sees the dude in the garage. Okay, so they have a car that has like a push button starter. It's an Audi. It's a push button starter. And I don't know. Maybe the dude doesn't know what buttons are because apparently he couldn't get the car to come on. He had no idea how to get the car started. So once again the fact that she got him to go to the garage rather than get rather than him go anywhere else saved lives 
that might have saved his life, being the, the burglar, her life, and Bun B's life. It, say, it at least saved one life at a minimum. So he's in the car. He can't get the damn thing to start. Bun B runs down to the garage. He's in the doorway. When he's in the doorway, he looks at the dude in the car. The dude turns around, looks at him. That's when the fireworks happen. Sparks start being everywhere, I'm assuming. I was going to talk about a situation like, because when uh, gunfire hits concrete and it skids, there's sparks. So, you know, you don't never know. Anyway, so the guy gets out the car. He gets hit in the shoulder. He gets out the car. He runs off. Now, I've heard two different stories, but this is the one that seems a little bit more uh, correct. They're saying that Bun B chased the guy and was able to get his mask off. And then he was able to see his face. And upon seeing his face, he was later able to identify him when uh, Homeboy went to the uh, hospital. And no, because he got a shot with a gun. He had to go to the hospital. So uh, he was later to, he was able to later identify him. And now before, we have morons that go down in the comment section talking about Bun B is a snitch. Because for some strange reason, you guys don't think the police have a job to do. You're going to have the, some some real tough dude down there that's going to be like, Yo, why Bun B snitched on him? He just tried to maybe rob him and everybody could have got killed in his house. Why he snitching? Bun B went and said, look, that's the dude. Shout out to Bun B for that. That's a fact. Imagine if Bun B wasn't home and this guy wasn't just a, a, a burglar or he was also a rapist. This could have went so left. Anyway, uh, so they got the gentleman. He is uh, currently locked up. His name is Damonte Jackson. He's he's 20. Like I said, he forced himself into the house. They thought um, the Bumby's wife thought it might have been Amazon or something. But you don't know who it is. It's not. You don't even got to think it might be Amazon. Somebody's ringing your doorbell. You go to the door. You go to see who it is. So even if she didn't think it was whatever, whoever, you know, you go to the door. You see who it is. That's just like what you do. Um, they're saying that she's still traumatized. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't even want to stay home alone. I, I, I don't think. I don't know if I would be able to leave my wife home alone. For a long time after something like that would have happened. I just, no, I'm not married, but no, I wishes things can happen in the future. But I would, but um, definitely, I, I think I'd be scared to leave my wife home alone. If I had a job, like, let's say I worked at McDonald's or some shit, she would have to come and sit in McDonald's with me every day. Every day. <laughs> Seriously, you think I'm trying to be so scared? I mean, I gotta quit my job. I can't have a job. She gonna be like, "Why?" I'm gonna be like, "Cause you can't stay home alone. There's crazies out here." Anyway, um, they say that she said that she would have rather died than allow for the suspect to go upstairs to her husband. She, she's just a lot of bravery right there. Not for nothing. I think often we forget how strong, how important it is. Part of me for our women to be strong. And uh, often, and this is the shame with the culture that we, this is the same in, in the climate, pardon me, not culture, the climate that we per, that, that, that we live in nowadays. This is the shame of it. Often, it's the belief that a woman can't be a strong woman unless she's disrespecting men, unless she's doing everything that a man can do, unless she can also wear the pants and everything else. And that's just not true. That is 100% not true. A woman could be a woman. She could be feminine. And she can still. Still. Let's not forget this. Be a strong woman. We need to get rid of those stigmas. We need to, we need to really relearn some of the things that we think that we know. Because this is a strong woman I don't know her And I haven't actually seen a picture of her But this is a strong woman This Not the woman that wanna Disrespect men all day And not the woman that 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 uh That plays victim every five minutes Not the woman that could just You know 
this right here. This is a strong woman. There's plenty, plenty of them out here, out there. Pardon me, plenty of them, plenty of them. And I think more, more often us, especially us as men, we need to acknowledge the strength in women, so we can have less women thinking they have to be a man in order to be strong. Because that's that's all fake. I've never given birth. I will never give birth. And I can't imagine something that is a natural thing that a person has to do that takes more strength than that. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.